my fellow humans. It was sometime in November 1992 when an uncle told me that under the Babri Masjid in Ayodhya lay a Ram temple, which was built on Lord Rama's birth spot and which was destroyed by the invading Muslim armies of Babur. I asked him, Uncle, how can you say so with so much surety? My uncle immediately and nonchalantly pointed to my dad and asked me, Who is he? My father, I replied. How can you be so sure? He immediately asked me. At that moment, I was so stunned by his argument that I kept mum. My triumphant uncle then said, Just as you believe that this gentleman is your father, we Hindus believe that Ram Lalla was born at the spot where the Babri Masjid exists today. Those were the days when DNA paternity tests were unknown and the Babri Masjid still existed. The purpose of this talk is to make you aware of the logical fallacies that are used to shut up anybody who tries to use rational processes to understand a subject. The first logical fallacy that I discuss today is called a red herring. In crime detection, sniffer dogs or hounds are used to follow or track the path taken by a criminal. These hounds follow a scent of their own choosing. A red herring is a new scent introduced by a deceiver to confuse the hounds and to steer them away from their logical path. In my case, my uncle successfully diverted me from raising evidence-based questions to looking at the Babri Masjid issue from a faith or belief point of view. The use of the red herring is mischievous and deceptive because it uses irrelevant material to prevent a conclusion based on reason and evidence from being reached. Red headings are those, sorry, red headings are used by those who have a bad case and can feel the sniffer dogs getting uncomfortably close to the truth. Politicians, lawyers, salesmen and TV debaters use it whenever they defend a bad case. If you wish to use this technique, you must select the red herrings on the basis of the known interests of your audience. In my own case, it took me 27 years to realize that a revered uncle had fed me a red herring. Thank you.